going on guys welcome back to another video so today we have the summer of suffering toad and oh man it is really suffering this fight is just it's really well thought out but the ai makes it so so annoying it took me like an hour and a half to actually do four objectives and i did like i think the first three in like 30 minutes or so I just couldn't do the fourth one because I just wanted to get the solo and I was always down it because the fight is is tricky and then the AI just makes it so, so much suffering. So how does this fight work? So first off, this guy is immune to shock, as you can see from the node on the right. His first uh, attack from a combo will always be stun immune, so you have to like re parry him uh, or parry him once and then parry him again once the node is on cooldown. The most important thing though, he starts the fight with a root on you. That means when he throws a special, he is going to root you. And then after he's done with that special, the next time he throws a special, it is going to be reverse controls. So it goes from root to reverse controls and then from reverse controls back to root. And that is how it works. Now there is something really important you need to know for from Toad's abilities. Most of the best options here are in, are champions that are immune to poison, which helps you out because you don't take damage from his paralytic poisons. But because he's duped, if he has 10 prowess and you try to hit him, he's going to stun you for two seconds. And that basically means you're dead, pretty much. Now, there's another node that helps us, which every time you intercept, you invalidate four of his prowess. And you wouldn't be able to do this fight if there wasn't for that node. At least with someone that's not immune to poison. So thankfully with vision here, we are immune to poison. And if we intercept, we remove those 10 prowess. And actually vision is kind of good for this guy fight because he has that phase and he works like, you know, with vision. So you do the phase and then you immediately punish the opponent, build up those furies. And that punish is going to count as an intercept. So definitely it's helping you out. But this fight, the most tricky thing about this fight is that you just de you just don't know when he's going to throw the specials. It's literally, you can go from 30 baits to one. Like, it's so random. I just don't get it. Like, if, if you watch my stream, I literally sat there with Scarlet Witch to bait a special probably over a minute. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, it's, it's just crazy to me. Like, I don't know why. I kind of know why, because his medium attack is, like, weird... It's like that weird backflip and that's how it like coding works. But I just, I don't get it. Like if this doesn't get fixed, like I really don't want to fight Toad ever again or just change his animation. But that is it for Toad. Uh, I did solo hit it with Toad. I have, or sorry, with Deathless Vision. It took me five minutes as you can see. And then moving on to the next option is Hulkling. So Hulkling is a uh, Kree or Sinister Six. He's actually Kree. He's one of those objectives. And he's good. I didn't, it was a bit of a sloppy fight because, it, again, it's so tough to do it flawlessly. But I mean, Hulkling is immune to poison. He's got obviously more damage than Deathless Vision. And he's got those regens. And at this point, I was like, I don't want to really bait another special and just risk getting clipped by the reverse controls. So I just went for it. Now, my next one is Destroyer. And with Destroyer here, I did it quite well. I'll show you the rotation. I think it took me like two tries. Uh, first time I messed up the power again. I didn't actually go for special three. I went for special two. And this fight is a bit annoying with Destroyer because you have a timer on you in those Furies. And if he doesn't throw the specials, they're just going to fall off. You know, it's it's a bit annoying. But again, Destroyer is immune to poison. So you just get those intercepts with Destroyer really easily without Unstoppable. And you go like crazy. So this is a boosted rank three Suicide Destroyer. So... Watch this. My special 2 is going to deal so much damage right now. Boom. That was 147,000. And we're about to get another one. Sometimes you can get 3 special 2s with destroy it before the, the Degen expires. But with this type of defensive AI, you can't do it. It's just impossible. It's literally like impossible. I even have to push up to a special 2 here and dex it while he's reversed. Well, while I'm reversed. Which is not... It's not the play. <laughs> it's not the play, but... I have to do it. I just risked it. So yeah, that's like that's that's like uh, the SOS Toad. Very annoying. Also, another tip: avoid pushing him in the corner because he's gonna trigger region every time he triggers region. He gets a process. You can see they keep going up and up, and you cannot reverse his healing. 
without despair, without anything. So you just ideally don't want to fight this guy while he's in the corner. So now I want to go for heavy to refresh our beauties. And at this point, I'm like, yeah, probably two more special twos are going to kill this guy. But I also am, you know, pushing him in the corner, which is not at the play. As you can see, he's healing a lot. 2701 is quite a bit for this guy. And see, I got stunned there and I just get comboed. Luckily, he didn't punish more there. Even though I think I would have survived a little bit more, but we're chilling. Just go for one more special two. Just trying to like kill him before he kills me at this point. But yeah, this fight is not enjoyable. It's like really well made, but if it was like a normal champ, I would be I would be a lot happier. It's just you just never know. See, I messed up there. I almost died. I, th I thought I'd try to press my special and it didn't work. But thankfully, he's down. So that is it with Destroyer. Not too bad. And then here, I want to show you actually with Guillotine. So I did pretty well with Guillotine. Um, at one point, I was kind of like locked in. And you will see here that... Um, yes, right, right there. With Guillotine, really, really nice champion to use. Like really comfortable to use. You just get those intercepts easily and yeah you just, in this fight you just gotta lock in like try to react to that reverse controls even though it's difficult because you just never know what he's gonna throw it's not normal it's just literally if he if he wants to he's gonna throw it that that's just how this fight works so yeah don't like i ended up using revives in this fight so don't even don't, i should have used the revives a lot earlier i shouldn't have waited like an hour to use it I just want to get a solo, but it just doesn't matter, honestly. At this point, it doesn't matter. I have expiring revives anyway, and that is what revives are for. You shouldn't be stressing even if, if, if you have revives. Like, that's what I should have done, but I was kind of stressing because I want to get the solo. But yeah, like I said, it's not worth it. But I mean, at this point, you can see Guillotine doing pretty well here with uh, 114 hits. I don't recommend Guillotine too much because if you don't solo and you try to revive... That means you're gonna deal no damage at the beginning because you're gonna have zero hits. So I don't recommend if you end up using revives. She's good for a solo, but if you mess up, she's not gonna be great. Because I ended up using like four or five revives when he was like 20%, which yeah, if I use someone else, I could have like nuked him with less than two. But because Guillotine just doesn't deal damage when she dies, it's uh it's unfortunate. So at this point I'm doing well. Like 130 hits on this guy is pretty impressive. And I did like 6% of his health already, as you can see. You can't reverse his healing with your special. So there, my, my, my combo just dropped. I don't know why, but um, I was doing light attacks. I don't know why I dropped. But let's see. So I took like 6% of his health, and it wasn't terrible. Um, I'm very happy with how it went. I wish I could get the solo, but I couldn't. Okay, so what are the best options for this guy? Obviously, the first objective is Deathless Vision. So you have to do it with Deathless Vision to get that fourth point. Now for this other one that I did is the Kree or Sinister Six. Kree, the best ones is, you know, Hulkling and Vox. They're the poison immune. They got the most damage. You should use one of those. If you don't have those guys, you can go for Sinister Six, which the best one I believe is Mysterio, Shocker, and Scorpion. Now Mysterio has that heal block, which is really great. And Shocker doesn't crit too much or actually doesn't crit. So you're not going to get too many poisons on you. He's actually going to be a great option for him. So I definitely suggest those five options there. For this objective, this is the defensive tank and XL. The absolute best option for this is Juggernaut because Juggernaut is immune to reverse controls and he's just going to make this fight so much easier. You're not going to mess up at all because even if he doesn't throw the specials, even if he throws it at an unexpected time, you're still going to dex it because you're not, you're immune to reverse control. So absolute best option here, Juggernaut. I say the second best is Hulk, just a great nuke. And then you can also go for Hulk bar. So he's got some, that nice power control so that avoids, you know, baiting a lot of specials. And then you can obviously go for like an onslaught. You know, you, you got some good options for this objective for sure. I went for Destroyer and he works fine there too. <clears throat> now for this last one, you got to use a small and a control denial. The best option for this, Viv Vision. I didn't realize she is immune to reverse controls. But she is, which means same thing with you with Juggernaut, just amazing. And she also invalidates prowess with her abilities too, I believe with her heavy. Yeah, the first it invalidates three prowess on the opponent and you just gain solar energy too. So she's going to ramp up faster too. So Viv sounds like a great option for this fight. Now the second base you can go for like Claire, 
Claire is kind of nice because you can make her go poison immune. She has that life, uh, sorry, yeah, life steal if you mess up. But uh, yeah, again, you can go for like get into her. No, she's good. You don't get too many poisons on you. And, you know, she's got that healing. But be careful because if you die and you decide to revive, it's going to be rough because you're not going to have the time to ramp up. And the fight is going to be really, really slow from the, the get-go. So, yeah, man, that is the summer of suffering toad not enjoyable fight for me i wish i wish the ai just didn't ruin this fight because it's you can see that they did they did plan this ahead for like deathless vision made it really good to like get those free intercepts really good nodes it's just the unexpected defensive ai just so passive it's just just made it so unenjoyable but yeah, guys, hopefully you got better luck with the AI. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.